What's up guys? In the pinned comment, join our locals. It's only $5 a month and you get tons of exclusive content, including a fire lieutenant catch that has never before been seen on YouTube and we cannot post till after his trial. Two and a half hours long. Awesome, awesome job because he got arrested and a bunch of Stinghouse content that definitely is safer on locals, including a new Stinghouse video in Toronto where it's absolutely berserk on his knees and everything. So be sure to join our locals and also you get to continue to keep this movement going despite whatever YouTube does. The power should not be in YouTube's hands to end this awesome movement that we have going. Arrest in 39 states should not be stopped by YouTube. It should be in the hands of you guys to keep this movement going. So consider supporting us and also you get to see a ton of content and exclusive live streams. Pin comment. What's up guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in Interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Hey, is this uh, Caleb? Yeah, speaking. Hey, what's up, man? Um, I got to talk to you about something. Sure. Okay. So I have the messages to Bailey that was that's been messaging you. Okay. Uh. -huh. And look, I got it in my hand. I just want to meet up and talk about it. I don't want to hurt you, take anything from you, but I think it should probably be talked about, being like what's been said. Yeah. Um, I won't be messing with you anymore. No, I totally get that, but I do kind of want to meet up and kind of get this address. I'm not here to hurt you, man. I know. So, I, know. Um, uh, I definitely don't want to go to the, don the donation warehouse tomorrow. I'd rather just kind of talk to you in private. Okay. Are you still, uh, are you in that apartment building or yeah?
About where? Are you at that apartment building, or, or are you, or are you at? No, I'm at uh, this apartment building. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can be there in ten minutes. Are you a number something, or is that what it was? Yeah. Something. Okay. Do you yeah. mind? Do you, yeah. You know that pizza place right next to it? Yeah. Okay. Can you just meet me over there in like ten minutes? I, I, I want to meet you like in public, but not like. I don't want it to be like public where I'm like, oh, hey guys, Caleb's doing this. You know, I, I'd rather just kind of sit down and have a talk. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yep, I'll see you at the pizza place in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, what's up, Caleb? You don't have any weapons on you? Okay. Sorry to meet you like this, man. Yeah, so we, I have friends here. We're not, not here to hurt you, hurt you either or take anything. They're filming for safety reasons, just in case you go report us for trying to harass you or take things from you. You know, I, I know you're not going to, but you know, it's happened before, you know what I'm saying? So let's kind of go into the light over there, kind of away from that, you know what I mean? I don't want anybody on the street really seeing what's going on. Uh, yeah, how about we just kind of go I think here's all right. I don't want to, you can have a seat if you want to or stand. Okay. I don't know where that seat's been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know where your hand's been either, you know. But, okay. So I have all the messages right here. Yeah. Okay. So obviously on the phone, you knew what I was referring to, right? Okay. That's why I deleted it. I do a conference. You, 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 and I backed off because I. He, he, he kind of. This would happen. Did you kind of feel like this was... This is too wrong. Okay. I've up for three years. Yeah. More than that. Yeah. I have a serious relationship. But You've been trying not, to look for one? Yeah, but that's not the way to do it. And... Right. I mean, was it because of her age that you kind of felt like this is kind of gain, gaining on you here? Engaging, yeah. Okay. How old, is she, how old was she? Or is she? Okay. Well, she told you nine, but nine. but you just figured nine or ten. Yeah. That's kind of what you assumed. One of those two. Okay, got it. So, you got the keys. He's never played a sport in his life. That's why I dropped it. Yeah. You ever play football at all? Not really. No. Oh, okay. So, so you do, you know, you do a you do a good thing. You work at like a donation place. So you like to give to the community and stuff like that. You do. A, is, so it's kind of like, I'm not from here, it's kind of like a Goodwill type thing? It is, yeah. Okay, and you're a trucker, and you just kind of deliver... Stuff around. You're like a Native American Santa, pretty much? Not really. A uh, driver that picks up stuff when we get appointments and all that. Oh, like... We come to look at people's furniture, see if it's available to... Oh, okay. ...actually be donated. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's either hit or miss, since we do have procedures and all that. So. Okay, got it. So... Yeah, I mean, you do a good thing, and, you know, I think someone that did a good thing might have gotten a little bit carried away here, pretty much. So, you know, before we really get into anything, um, you know, there's nobody around. I mean, they're not, we're going to make sure nobody else besides us hear what's being said, okay? Yeah. When did this kind of stuff start for you, man? A couple of days ago, yeah. No, I'm not talking about with Fair. Bailey. I'm, I'm just talking about, like, you know, you don't go from, you don't go from bored to, soliciting a nine-year-old in a day. When, when, did the, when did this rabbit hole kind of start for you? Has it been a couple of years? I don't know, like teenager. Teenager? Yeah. And you're 32 now? Yeah. Your birthday was on New Year's? New Year's? No. No, okay. I was born in 91, so. Okay. So, but, so this is just, yeah. so that basically since high school, this has been a thing? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody know? Not really, but I haven't been done this in a long, long, long time. Done this in a long time? Yeah. What's this? Like engaging in... Convos with a minor? With a minor yeah. Okay. And when was the other time? How many years ago was that? Probably 17, 18 years old. Um, how old was she? Like young, young? 14. Okay. Well, I don't care about like a two-year, three-year age difference, 
But when did when did it really start? When did when did those feelings really start? When you know, not the two year age difference, but it's like, okay, I'm 20, and here I'm still liking 15 year olds, and now I'm like nine year. Like, when did the, when did that big age gap start for you? At least in feelings. Feelings. Yeah. Probably, like, yeah 18, 19. Okay. Yeah. Is that when it started to turn into? And like I said, dude, I'm not here to judge you for this, because you know, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. I'm just saying it is what it is, you know. But is is that when when you were 17, 18? Is that when the feelings kind of started for like young, young, mm -hmm. like nine year olds yeah. stuff? Okay. And how did what what do you think started it for you? It's loneliness. Loneliness. Engagement. And all that. Yeah, but you know, there's lonely. There's lonely. Like, okay, I'm gonna go get a. Right, yeah. and there's lonely like you know here you are and I'm saying it you know I don't think you need trouble I just think you need some help okay mm -hmm. but here you are now having a crush on nine-year-olds like is there was it something you saw that made you like this or was it something that happened to you or Probably something that happened to me. you got did you get when you were younger okay how old were you 12 I think okay 13, yeah. so you think that kind of so you weren't born like this you turned it you became like this okay Okay. Was it a relative? Yeah, uh, my uncle. Uncle? Oh, okay. He's dead now. Well, that's good, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> he died of liver disease. Hmm. So, did he ever get caught? He told my parents. Did they report him? No. Okay. Is this something that still haunts you to, to this day? Haunting in a way that. Yeah in a way that probably does impact my life. Yeah. Get a little bit closer, Pom. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Do, you, do you have like flashbacks from it and stuff like that? I do, yeah. Okay. So you think that's what caused you to be attracted to like little kids? Okay. Well, that makes that makes more sense because you know, there's people that are born like this, people that are made like this and you're definitely fell victim to this, you know? So look, I'm not dumb. If you've had this attraction since you were 18, what, 14 years later at 30, 32, you're 32. When did the child start for you? I don't know. Uh, probably around the same time, but I, I haven't been really active in it. Just On child Yeah. Okay. Is it something you view like, is it often, semi-often, rarely or never? Rarely. rarely? Okay. Rarely okay. Okay. When's the last time you viewed child A couple months. I'll see a few years, yeah. It's been a few years since yeah. you've been a child. How, how did you receive it and view it and stuff like that? Was it Telegram or no? It was through Reddit. Through Reddit? Um, it wasn't, I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. It was just had to be looking at child cases that came up. Yeah, but, forms, uh, but it wasn't active. Yeah. I didn't view anything active. But, I mean, yeah. yeah, like Caleb, I mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, go over. Yeah, let's just go over here around. I don't want to be inside of them. I mean, I mean, Caleb. Look, man. I mean, look. Honestly, I, I didn't come here just knowing about Bailey. I came here kind of. I, you know, I'm not from here, so I did some research before coming here. It's not hard to find your online footprint. You know, I'm like Klaus Schwab, but just with digital stuff. You know, I, I track the online footprint like he does the carbon footprint, and I'm not stupid. Like you didn't just look You're up child. Stupid. No, you're not either. You know, you're a smart, articulate guy. But you didn't just look up child cases. That's bull man. When, when did you actually start viewing it? It was, well, it was, I came across the top of cases, but then it was just... Did it go through. rabbit hole from there? Yeah, somewhat. Okay. A couple links, but... Mega links? Um, I think so. I'm okay. Sure, but Basically, you would yeah. click on a link and it would show like a video of a little kid getting... No, it was just pictures. Pictures of naked little kids? Yeah. Okay. Was this on through Reddit? I think so, yeah. Okay. Is there any, did you get ever get any on Instagram, like links like that? Not really, but I, do, I did get like a bunch of uh, website links, mm -hmm. fake scammer links. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. I, dude, yeah. I, even I get those. Yeah, <laughs> the, those yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think everybody with an IG gets those. Mm -hmm. But, um, 
Okay. Because look, basically what I'm kind of asking you is because you're somebody that was a victim of this. And I think you can turn this around to help me find the real bad guys that are actually out abusing kids. Yeah. So do you have Telegram at all? I don't, know. Did you delete it ever? No, I never used it. Okay, so do you have it, but you just don't use it? No, I never used it. Oh, you never I, used I it? I don't even have it. Okay. Either. Do you have I like... I thought it was like something that leads to um, stuff like people asking for money. Yeah. Um, actually, there was one time about a few years ago, 2019, I did get hacked into um, almost the same exact way. Mm -hmm. And they basically put all my information out on the web. Really? It's the accounts from my Google. Yeah. Did they try to like expose you as like a... Yeah. Okay. How many years ago was this? 2019, yeah. Okay. So, look, basically, and thanks for telling me that because I kind of figured, I saw that kind of happen. I don't know if it was you, but I, now that you told me it was you. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, whoever, whatever hacker that was, they don't know what you do in your personal life, right? They don't, they're not tracking you coming out of that apartment, whatever. No. But the only reason they know who you are is because you've had to have dipped your feet in a child. Yeah. Okay. How, how, how do you think they find out, found out they were, you were in a child? Uh, messaging back and forth on a um, link through WhatsApp. Okay. Is I thought it was you know, somebody else. They were appearing to be somebody else. But then they Did they just kind of send them. you child? Okay. And then they automatically switch on like, hey, and then you don't want this going out. Uh -huh. uh, send me a thousand, two thousand bucks. So or they. Or else I will distribute this across. Okay. Yeah. So, so they basically sent you child and they threatened you after you received it? Yeah. Okay. And so you've received child. You... And then from that, uh -huh. it went, actually did happen. And then I had to delete. I had to delete everything. Yeah. And I had to this person through my emails and all that it was a big it was chaos so okay I had, to, actually, I had to delete all my facebook and all that so as a native you know, on, yeah, yeah. So, so it was like a native american instead of like going into tp you went into cp pretty much yeah. okay i see i see what see what happened yeah. so you received it on and when i say received i mean you either clicked a link through or got sent pictures so on reddit whatsapp you went, went through actually went through instagram instagram whatsapp so they sent you cp on instagram yeah okay you so when they sent you CP, they didn't like automatically remove their accounts. No. Okay, so it slipped through the yeah, cracks. Yeah, because I tried to find them again, and they just automatically deleted their profiles. Oh, okay. So, so you I couldn't I couldn't report them or anything. Okay, you, you, tr you the tried. The harm was already there because I was getting harassment emails from them. But they had a whole list of my whole friends and you, you, family. They're they're sending it to. So so you tried to find this account that sent you CP again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, I understand they definitely you over try to but you know I, i've never been in that situation where i'm like where i got i get sent cp then i get like scammed you know then i'm like then i get blackmailed right you know you only you only got you only put yourself in that blackmail position because you wanted to watch you wanted to watch cp yeah. you know okay so initially did that account advertise the cp account I mean, kind I, of, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, so you, so you will, so you knowingly message that account knowing it was to send you child. If, if no, it happened. No, no, oh. no, no. Did you just know it was a child account? No. It was, it didn't look appear to be, but then they actually did. Okay. And look, Caleb, I know you're a good dude, but I know obviously you get a little bit carried away sometimes. I don't think that you stopped talking to them after they sent you one image. Did you kind of just let them keep sending you images? Yeah. Okay. So you were, it was kind of mutual between you two? Yeah. Okay. So you were and like willingly, while, were you, were you okay. thinking about it. Okay. And then I just said, well, this, I'm going to delete yeah. the, the, the conversation and my Instagram account. Okay. So, just because so, I was like, well, this is too long. Like, so, so from that yeah. scammer account, you were like willingly receiving the CP? Yeah, from that okay. WhatsApp. And then that's okay. the return. Yeah. So you were like asking him to send more? No. Um, Did you just let him send more? Just let him. Yeah. Okay, so. But then that's when uh, they started asking for money. Okay. Uh, the threats. Yeah. Like, exposing it to um, help somehow they got some emails and all that. So, okay. Yeah. So it's basically like you didn't ask for it, but you weren't going to say no to it, is what happened? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, Caleb, 
you know, I think you're 95% truthful, but there's been times where you've asked for child. When did that, when did that happen? How many times do you think you've asked for child? Like you hit up an account with like a pizza logo or like a little kid and say, hey man, send me this, send me this child or whatever term you use for it. Not, not really rarely. It's just, okay, it's just happening. Just one account if I feel like it's real. That's when you ask for child from them. No. Um, probably just this one account, Bailey, and then that was it. The rest of it just seems to be fo automatically followers who yeah are soliciting dating sites and all that. Right, right. But but, but I'm saying like yeah. like when's the time? I mean, you asked Bailey to send nudes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was asking for child. But how about from these accounts that would just send you child, like these traders or whatever? How many times did you ask them for it? None. They were just automatically messaging me, hey, uh, you're on this group chat. You got okay. this web, website link here. But did they, never, okay. You never initiated voluntarily, it? Voluntarily, I okay. didn't initiate I just voluntarily asked Okay. Ask them. So, so did, did they kind of ask you if you wanted to see it? Yeah. And then you said yes? No, I just deleted the messages. You deleted it, but they sent it to you. They sent it to me. I don't think they. I don't think they opened up the message with just. I don't think. I don't think you just opened up the message. And there was like fifty child images there. No, I, okay, no. so you knew that. It was just links, yeah. Okay, and then did you click on those links? No. But you viewed these images. How many times? I don't think you clicked on the links every time. I'm saying, how did you sometimes not click on the links and sometimes click on the links? I didn't click on the links. Uh, from the times that I did a few years ago when it uh -huh. got me into that hacking scam, okay. it was delivering me to these dating sites. Okay. Um, that was it. So um, were those links advertised as child? No. Okay. I didn't see a CP or anything. Like okay. That. So, so, so basically the only time you've seen CP is when they just send it to you in your, in your DMs? Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are like actual images you've seen? Websites, yeah. Okay. And the websites, you see them and they have these images of little kids, pretty much? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's when you put your eyes on those images? Yeah. Okay, got it. So, basically with Bailey, I mean, I don't, I don't want to embarrass, I don't, you know, it's all, it's embarrassing. I, I know. And I appreciate you having this conversation, man. Yeah. Truly. But, um, let's see, nice, you live in Butte. I'm adopted in the Cheyenne. Oh, are you adopted? Mm -hmm. Okay. White family? Yep. Okay. I grew up here in Montana. So what Indian reservation are you from? Cheyenne River. Cheyenne River. Okay, so what's a Lakota Sioux? I'm um, just curious, I don't know. It's in uh, South Dakota. So on the border of North Dakota and South Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, the Cheyenne River Sioux reservation over there. You know, they should call the tribe of like Israelites a Sioux too, because yeah. they're all lawyers and Sioux people. And that, that'd be my tribe, I'm a right. Jew, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, I'm home now if you want to call or video call me, okay. On, so y'all had some phone calls together? Just once. Okay. She didn't, didn't really engage in other phone calls. Or anything like that. Did it get sexual on the phone? No. Okay. Just informative. Okay. Yeah. Just a picture of you. Are you married or have a girlfriend at all? No. Or I think you said no already, okay. Beautiful girls are stunning. Can I call you video chat and watch my apartment? Okay. With their kids and family hanging out, each food, watch the ball drop tonight. So do you, uh, so with Ryder and Silas, do you like babysit them sometimes? No. No, okay. Just for you. So I mean, I, I think you've been on, so we can cut through all the like the fluff bull, just get yeah. to the point. Um, just chilling and bull watching cops still the New Year's Eve music. You're watching cops as you're texting a nine year old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I hope you had some self awareness when you said that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's right. I forgot, babe, but Telegram is like, I think. So you never had Telegram? No. Okay. Back to my regular schedule. Blah, 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 blah. I, you'll have butterflies in your stomach and love and your toes curl, baby girl, stare into your beautiful eyes. It's you blushing and kissing. Okay, her blanket's cool. I want to snuggle with you and it kiss you till no tomorrow. Okay, he said, I never told them their first kiss will be with the love of their life. And your eyes make me melt. You are my kryptonite, my lover. You're so deliciously, stunningly adorable. So did you just think she was like cute or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Sure. 
Happy New Year. Sexiness and cuteness, I love your smile. Before we get into the messages, it did, was there like talked about? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Was it like intercourse talked about? Yeah. Okay. Did did you say something to the extent of like, I'm gonna have intercourse with you? Paraphrasing. Didn't get, to, didn't get there yet. Okay. She invited me over, but then uh, dad was gone. Yeah. Then, uh, then that's when I started just like, I can't. You deactivated yeah. your Instagram? Yeah. Okay, I will kiss and kiss for my fingers through your silky smooth stuff here. I will forever admire Bailey. I cannot get enough of you, my love. So there seem to be some, yeah, seem to be some feeling. I, I, it's probably because of loneliness, but there seem to be some feelings developing and stuff like that. Okay. So basically, if you were to follow through with this, what was the plan? Like to be, was it to be like a secret boyfriend or what was something it? like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm your secret absolute. Lover hunk, what else? Kiss your breasts. Okay, what else do you want me to do? Feel and rub your thighs and butt cheeks. Kiss your breasts. Hear your heartbeat race like it's beating right now. Make out with you like no tomorrow. Feel your gorgeous skin. Okay. Okay, cutie pun. I can't wait to show you some fun, baby girl. Your i will have you shaking and gushing like a waterfall, my lover angel. Manger will be super wet and you'll be turned on to the max and orgasm, baby girl. So this is, you said all of this? Okay. I mean, if, if you were to follow through with this, this is kind of what would have happened. Yeah. Okay, so you would have, and I hate and I hate to say it like this, okay, but just knowing that it happened to you, yeah. and I'm glad you had the conscience to not do it, but basically, if you were to follow through, like you were thinking about earlier before you deactivate your account, basically you were gonna this girl. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So this morning before you deactivated, it was your plan to go this girl. If it was, no, it was. It wasn't. Okay. Because like after we got done talking last night, that's when I started thinking about it. Okay. It's just then that's when I was going over the messages. Okay. And then I was like, this is I can't do this. Okay. So I so, see myself in cuffs. Yeah. To get my ass stomped to the ground. Yeah. So, so, so at some point, at some point, the plan was, sir. But then you snapped out of it last night, you said? Yeah. Okay, so before that you I wanted... I didn't really sleep too because I was thinking about this. Yeah, I saw you were up like at 3 a.m. and stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I'm glad you have a conscience about it, but so basically before last night, you were going to go girl. Yeah. Okay, got it. I mean, that's... It's worrying, man. It's worrying. I mean, your, your toes are dipped. I mean, here you ask, can you get nude or your dad around? Did this mean... Did, okay, babe, send me a picture. Can you get nude or your dad around? Were you like kind of asking for a nude here? Okay. Oh, see if that pizza place is still open. Hey, let's see if they got fried pickles. Ah, oh, starving, dude. We're running there real quick. Okay, it's good. It's 22 degrees. I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs> they are, and they're like in two layers. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, okay, so. You see, so what social medias do you have? Facebook, Instagram? It's Facebook. Okay. It. So with other minors online besides Bailey, have any like been around here or, okay. Have any tried to talk to you before? Have you tried to reach out to other ones? Okay, I, I don't necessarily believe that because you've deactivated your Instagram how many times? Probably about four or five times. Okay, yeah. so th was this a new Instagram account? No. Okay, so here's why I don't really believe that you've never reached out to a minor besides Bailey before, because you've deactivated your Instagram four other times, and you said the child thing happened once. So if you deactivate it two other times, it has to be minor related. No, it's not. Okay. It's through uh, other people who texted me and followed through with me who weren't minors. Okay. Who are trying to be somebody else? So, One of them was trying to be an OnlyFans model. Really? And it wasn't them. Since this OnlyFans model was um, now in a case of being convicted down in Miami, Florida, for killing her boyfriend. Oh, for just pretending to be that chick? Yeah. I know who that is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, mud shark yeah, yeah. doo 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 doo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of those times are examples Based. of. Um, Based Squanto. Yeah. So those are the examples of me shutting me down my accounts. I didn't know who to trust. I you can't, I mean, it's social media. Yeah, of course. Um, so that's how. So, 
have there been times where you attempted, because I know you talk to adults too, is what mm -hmm. you just told me. Have there been times where, you know, you see an underage girl online and you just try to reach out like you did with Bailey, you're saying hello or something like that? No. I, I don't, because I don't think nine-year-old Bailey's the first little girl that you try to talk to. I mean, even if it wasn't a conversation, even if they didn't respond, if you just said hello to other people, okay. But not to strangers or anything like that, no. Right, but, but but maybe you just see a profile of a young girl, you're following her, and you just say, like, hello, and maybe she doesn't respond. Has that ever happened before? With Bailey, yeah, but not with anybody else, no. Right, but, you know, with, with, with the people that you followed online, like the younger, like, you, you know, through Reddit, Instagram, WhatsApp, I'm just failing to believe that there's never been a time where you just saw a profile of someone at least representing themselves as younger, and you just said, didn't say hello or hi. Like, I'm not saying, have you had a sexual conversation with any other kids? Yeah. I'm just saying, have you, have you tried to say hello or something? No. Have you come, I mean, you've come across other profiles. I didn't really friend them or anything. It's just a rare occasion. Yep. Yeah. So, is there, so you, have you friended other ones before? No, not for a long time. Not for a long time. When's the last time you friended one? Was it like a couple of years ago? Or? I was like 19, 18. And how old was the one you friended? 13. Okay. What, what website was this on? This would have been... This would have MySpace. Been, okay, so MySpace. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been like sent child to MySpace? No. Okay. And did that 13-year-old in MySpace ever respond back to you? Did, yeah. Okay. Did. How, how did... Not with images or anything like that. Sure, Just sure. Up and all that. Oh, did you meet up with her? No. Was she in Missoula? Yeah. Okay, so she was, so you were like either, you were like a high school graduate and she was in middle school? Yeah. Okay. Do you, does she still live around here? No. She what, was, what was she her name? down in San Diego now. Oh, really? Yeah. What was her name? Um, what was her name? Um, Did it begin with an N? No. Just Layla. Layla. Something. I don't remember it's Layla. Hmm. Yeah. Did she live in Missoula? Yeah, she did. And then she moved out after graduating high school. Okay. Huh. So she. So how old are you? You're 30. Almost 32. Okay. And she was 13. Yeah. Okay. Did she just? So she like never met you? No. We were talking about meeting up. Okay. Never followed through. How did uh? How do you know she moved to San Diego? Um, when, she, when I later looked her up, she was in San Diego. Okay. And that was on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. And her name was Layla? Yeah. Okay. Was she like black, Indian, white? She's white. Okay. Yeah. Can you want to show me her Facebook? No, no, just show me her Facebook. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. You're fun. Too many of them. I see. Yeah. So, so, I know y'all didn't meet up and stuff like that, but were the conversations kind of similar to Bailey, like flirting around a little bit too much, maybe, or? There was some flirting, but not going into more, pushing it more. Okay. Because, you know, with, with Bailey, it was like, you're this, that, okay. With, with Layla, was it like that? No. Was it more of just kind of kissing, maybe? Not really, no. It was just uh, pretty much just meeting up. It wasn't really 
Okay. Actually, we'll talk just yet. Okay. Yeah. Just yet. Okay. Yeah. So was the plan with Layla if she was like, if she were to consent to it, kind of was it like if you can remember, was it kind of like try to date her or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Was she interested in dating you, this yeah. thirteen-year-old? Okay. Yeah. So it was like a mutual thing, kind of. Okay. Did y'all ever become boyfriend girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen her in person ever before? No, she just lived in Missoula here. Okay. Yes, I think she lived in Missoula. Got it. Huh? Really? Okay, did you order it? Okay. So before like anything, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna take your phone, but is there anything on your phone you should probably get rid of, image wise? Mm. If you're thinking about it, there probably is, isn't there? Probably is, yeah. Okay. Is there child on that phone? Yeah. What should, okay, so what images do you think you need to get rid of then if there's no child? Just my images, but sending them to two other women. Okay, did you send them to any girls? No, not okay. girls. Just other two <coughs> girls that I've been like, uh, talking to. Is, is there a time where you've deleted child from your phone? No, I haven't had any. Okay. Talk to phone. So it's all just been viewing it without saving it? Yeah. Okay. So... Realistically, like I said, I have gone through your online history. When's the last time you actually viewed child? Uh, I don't know, man. Was it sometime in 2022? I don't think so. 2021? Okay. Was it? I, I, I didn't see anything, download anything. Okay, you just yeah. viewed little kids having. No. I didn't view anything. Okay, but when's the last time you looked at images of little kids naked? Not really. Just, that hasn't been since 2019? No. Okay. It wasn't any actual. Um, any actual. Uh, well, I mean, we've already established as you've seen, yeah. like, seen it without downloading it. But I'm just saying, when's the last time you've seen it? Or was it, has it been since 2019? No. So, 20, you think 2020 or 2021? When do you think it was? Because you, because the, they sent you those images on WhatsApp in 2019, right? Yeah. Okay. It was, it was just links. Yeah. Right, but you clicked on those links. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's when you viewed the images, right? Yeah. Okay. So. After that, I know 2019, you don't skip to four years later doing this, trying to do this to a nine-year-old. You don't skip to that without viewing any CP. So yeah. when else have you viewed CP? Uh, if you can try to remember. I can't remember, dude. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember it happening after that? No. Okay. I mean, you're going from sitting bull to sitting bull, I think. So, really? I mean... I just don't believe that you've you Going haven't viewed that to this. I just don't believe that you've viewed it that you've only viewed it since 2019. I think there's been more time since then to now. I don't know whether from me. I don't know. Is that where did I don't know? It's weird. I don't know why they'd be over there. I guess I'll just tell him that you... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you've been very honest, man. I mean, does anybody else know about this attraction towards minors you have? No, not really. No. Is there... We need to get help. Yeah. I think so, man. I think so. But Has anyone... Stay away. Has anyone? Wanna, yeah, stay in touch. I have your number. Stay in touch yeah. And help me out. Has anyone ever accused you of being with a kid before? No. Nobody's falsely accused you? No. Okay. What the f? I don't know why they're making me nervous. Has, has there been ever been a time where. Has there ever been a time where maybe you got a little bit carried away around any of those kids? No, not really. Not really. Okay, is there a time where maybe there's like a touch or a squeeze? Okay. 
Maybe a rub? Okay, so nobody, so if I were to talk to Shiloh and Riley, they wouldn't say anything? No, they would say anything, no. I don't know any, none of that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably check in something at the store. Checking out your boy, though. They are? Yeah. For what? He is a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that is a... Yeah, that's like... What the f are they doing to me? I know. You know any cops around here? Mm. They probably know we're outsiders or something. Yeah. That's I mean, weird. Dude, look at you. How do they treat the out-of-towners around here? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, but... That's about it. Yeah. I'm, has, I'm having some reservations about this. Yeah. Me and you both, literally, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, do you mind if I pat you down? Yeah. That's okay? Yeah. You want me to send you to Make sure you're filming this problem. Yep. Just put them together kind of like you're praying. I'm scared. Just pop them together like you're praying. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that number 40? I thought that there was a wallet in the back pocket of my ear there. Do you mind if I grab that? Go ahead. I'm always going to be on a trail of tears in this station. Just relax you made, you made that TP uh, Let me chat with you real quick. Yes, sir. Oh, you think so? Nice. Do you know what that means? I also don't have to yeah, get a hotel. We wake, we wake up super early. Yeah, we, we wake should. up regularly early. Oh, yeah, that's true. Huh? This car here? Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. You got the king writing on? Yeah, as soon as they put him inside, I want to go and set the car. Wait, say what? Yeah, I want to go and set the car in a minute because it's freezing out here. Oh. What's up guys? In the pinned comments, join our locals. It's only $5 a month and you get tons of exclusive content, including a fire lieutenant catch that has never before been seen on YouTube and we cannot post till after his trial, two and a half hours long. Awesome, awesome job because he got arrested and a bunch of Stinghouse content that definitely is safer on locals, including a new Stinghouse video in Toronto where it's absolutely berserk on his knees and everything. So be sure to join our locals. And also you get to continue to keep this movement going despite whatever YouTube does. The power should not be in YouTube's hands to end this awesome movement that we have going. Arrest in 39 states should not be stopped by YouTube. It should be in the hands of you guys to keep this movement going. So consider supporting us. And also you get to see a ton of content and exclusive live streams, pin comment.